in my day-to-day -day Laravel application development, sometimes I want my users to have some roles or permissions to access some resource. I have been using this package, uh, Laravel permission, open source by Spady, to build the role and permission system. So if you are interested, feel free to check out its official documentation. So today I will show you how I customize the error or exception page. I sometimes the open source frameworks, for example, the Lara permission will give us the default the, the, the error page, which might not suit our requirement. So I will show you what it looks like and how we can customize such exception page. Okay, first of all, you need to install. I'm using this package for demonstration purpose. So installation in Laravel. So follow the steps, it's pretty straightforward. Next step is to look into basic usage. You will see how it can be used in your code base. You can also use them in, in your route definition. So using a middleware allows you to restrict the user access based on role or permission in your web.php, the route definition. You can also add the middlewares, row permission, row or permission, these three middlewares to your kernel configuration so that you can also use them in your route definition or configuration. Now let's come back to the short URL service application, which is a demo application I've been using in my videos. I have already completed the installation and setup. So I'll show you the, the web.php. So this is a route I added to a group, which require user to be in admin role. It used to be something like this. If we go to a page and uh, click one of the short URL, you should see I'm redirected to the destination. But what if I put the route into this group, which requires user to be in row admin? If I click the short URL again, you can see forbidden. They show me for three user does not have the right rows. This is the number of permission package provided view. We may want to customize it or put or apply our design to the page. What can we do? Now let me show you here the class called handler. So this is this is a class, Lara application used to handle all the exceptions and errors. If we look into the, the parent or base class exception handler, there is a function called render. This function will be called when there's any exception or error. So we can override it in our handler class. What we need to do is simply override it. For now, I just call the parent function with the parameters. Essentially, it works the same. Now, if we come back to a page fresh, you should see the same page. Now we want to see what exactly this throwable is. Now let's dump the class of the variable. We should be able to see the class on the page. So you can see here, the exception is the Spady unauthorized exception. Now we want to capture this 
exception and uh, use our own view template to render the page. What we can do is here, we will see if it's instance of all authorized exception. We can copy the class here and use it in the code. Actually, I have already used it. Now let's use the class here. Here we need to return some view. Return response view. This is the view template we like to use. Error say index. I remember I have the index template in the errors folder. Uh, status code we still want to use for O3. here between the view and the status there's a data array if you want you can also pass the variable to the view template so you, you're in your template you can render more error or exception related message now let's see the index I remember yeah I have one here I put in from very simple header here. Sorry, you are not authorized to this resource. So if I refresh a page, you can see now this is what we have. You are not authorized to this resource. Pretty straightforward. Now let me apply some styles to it. Uh, essentially, we can also copy paste this part, right? but we can also use the dashboard or welcome page. Say if we use dashboard, we reuse the app layout, which is this layout. It give us some styles, so it will be like a more decent page. Okay, I remove this lot and uh, here I want to put the message here and remove this line of code. Refresh a page, you can see now. Sorry, you're not offline, we're sorry to this resource. If you look into the network, you can see here it's 403. Okay, so you can do whatever you, you want to make more. Suitable for, for your application or your customers. So if you want to see how to use the data pass to the page, probably this is what you can use. Now you already see it here, user doesn't have the right roles. Okay, so this is how we can customize the exception handling and uh, render differently to the users. Okay, I think that's it for today. I will also submit the code and put the PR in the video description. Feel free to check it out. If you like the, the video, remember to thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.